Okay, <coughs> Carpy Two Meth here. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but I do do a little bush crafting. So I'm gonna show you what I take out with me when I go in the woods. Okay. Well, first thing, we'll go to uh, fire making. So I have this thing here where I put it around my neck. You know. Well, let's see what's in here. Should be another pack in here, but okay. I have two book matches, a full lighter that's still wet and doesn't want to work because I dropped it in the snow today. And this is a dry lighter, catch sparks and stuff on stuff, you know. Okay, so that's my fire making. Let's see about the blade. That would be this big guy over here. It is a case. Let's see if it can adjust. Come on, adjust. Come on, just a little bit. But anyways, it's a case knife. It's not a lock blade. But it's the Case Hunter. It has two blades and it just fold down. It's a folding knife. But here it is. That's the blade I use out in the bush. Okay. Cooking. I have multiple things. Over here. I got a World War II canteen. And this thing's nice because you flip the handle up that goes around there, see? You flip that up and you put it right here. And uh, here, come on, show it. Come on, show it. Has this metal thing right here. But anyways, it has this metal thing, and uh, all you do is you uh, push the metal thing up, up like that, and then you drop it down and press it down, and uh, now you have a folding cup that all works. It's uh, pretty cool, I think. So yeah, and like I said just folds down over the cup like this so it's pretty cool also as you see in my pine needle tea videos these are the Nazi World War II cook stoves and uh, let's see if I can get a good view of it here And uh, as you can see, fold it like that, press it up like this, and it looks like so. See these white things in here? That's your fuel. You just uh, burn that. I have two six packs. So, I have actually more stuff for cooking than anything. But, uh, oh, with this, I uh, made me a tinfoil lid to go on it, just to keep the ash and stuff out of my uh, water or my food when I'm cooking it. So it goes like that. Okay. And uh, now this this is actually a stove. Okay. You can make it out of a soup can. Just cut a hole in it, and uh, you feed it fire, and uh, it's pretty cool. That's it's a stove, and I also got this metal water bottle here, full of snow, but I guess it melted. Now that's not it, as a as a wood 
cutting tool. I got a browning browning hatchet. Works pretty good. Sharp. It's a little wet right now because I was just out there and I came back. So it works really good. It's really sharp. And uh, now I'm going to my brew kit. This is my brew kit. Uh, I got a I got a snuff can here, and you take the lid off of it. And inside is uh, pine needles from my favorite tea tree. It's a uh, it's a good tree, but everybody has their own decisions, so I'm not going to say what kind of pine tree it is. And in this one, uh, and in this uh, snuff can, it's a sissy blend that some queer gave to me. Oh, uh, I got me some tea bags in here, so. That's my brew kit, and now you're wondering, well, what about food? So in there, I got a, an actual survival kit and a snuff can. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, let me just open it up here. As you can see, it has some uh, fishing line, and then here is the good survival kit. It has uh, fish hooks, needles, uh, fish line, some extra, and a wire saw. So that's pretty cool. And I also have spare needles and. Uh, fish hooks as you can see in here and I have this snuff can to make uh, whatever I want as a needle or a, or a fish hook or just anything you know or I can make like a toothpick or something that's why I have that in there because it's flimsy metal it works great so that's what I have in my survival kit. And, uh, so that's my survival kit. So, uh, Carpy 2 mess here, and over and out.